episode 244 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.info. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Okay, folks, welcome to FDH Lounge mini episode number 244. We are wrapping up the Pantheon, Pantheon number 7, celebrating the 6th anniversary of the FDH Lounge. The Pantheon century you, you keep hearing that the last five six seven years in particular have constituted a kind of new golden age with what's on premium cable and even channels like fx and amc so let's see how this shakes out interestingly enough no votes for homeland that's one that i i thought might have made it on here some of the ones that did get votes are kind of interesting as is homeland anything that you watch chris I, it's too new okay i mean i again I, to me that's like I want some perspective is what I'm saying. Okay. And, I, and, I, and actually, I, and I think I mentioned this in my email to you. Okay. I think it's even too early for this topic. We're, we're 12 years in. Okay. And, and I just, we're probably a little premature on this. This is, this is one of those topics where, you know, a few years down the road, there's gonna, there should be a vote to cast out whoever gets this. Uh, you <laughs> this know what, honor. though? I, pre- I think the winner is going to hold up. You the, think so? the, winner, okay. the winner is one that is pretty well respected. Uh, and, and, and one that I really wanted to vote for. We'll start with the ones that got one. I couldn't break away from my sentimental choice. I voted for the office for uh, the best one. Uh, one vote. I, I, I am a real, uh, I'm a real mark and for the office. And you criticized me for my vote. <laughs> Uh, your vote was much worse, actually, and, 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 it, and it got two because of the mind meld. One, Mine was watching. One, oh, one vote for Shark, one vote for uh, Castle, one vote for, and I, 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 love, I love this one, but I didn't know it was going to get uh, nominated, one vote for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, uh, one vote for Lost, one vote for Family Guy, one vote for, of course, our good friend Tony Mazur. Anybody want to take a stab at what he voted for? He voted for Louie. You knew that would be the case. Yeah, you absolutely knew that would be the case. I was going to guess Archer. (laughs) He loves that one, too. I love that show. He loves it. Archer didn't get any votes. Um, One vote for Louie. John, you love Chuck. One vote for Chuck. Yeah, actually, was in contact with Simon, and we were discussing it, and and he decided to go in a different direction. But I know (laughs) he's a big Chuck fan as well. Simon thought it should have been canceled. Um, (laughs) Yeah, uh, big fan. Uh, Combination of action, comedy. Yeah, really fun. Uh, there was one vote, uh, somewhat surprisingly, for uh, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, one vote for uh, Ken Detweiler. Uh, I, I, I wish that uh, he had been able to be here uh, today uh, so we could have uh, busted his chops on this one. One vote for Duck Dynasty, of all things. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good show, yeah. actually. I've actually just been getting into that because of my brother. I was watching some you of You don't say. Not, not this brother. Yeah. Not this brother. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is truly unbelievable that it can be said that Duck Dynasty had as many votes as the next one, Mad Men. Welcome to the FDH Lounge where that's possible. But uh, Mad Men, a great show, only getting one vote. Uh, one vote for American Idol. One vote for 24. Uh, one vote for The Wire. Big critical favorite there. Uh, we start getting in, into the next ones here, and there were uh, th- there were half votes here. Uh, the winner had two and a half votes. This next one had one and a half. There is one and a half votes for a survivor. Uh, interestingly enough, the guy who, vo- who who cast the half vote for survivor, well, I, I guess by definition, since he's the only guy who split his vote, then he also voted for the winner. So I guess it's not so coincidental. Uh, how I Met Your Mother, the Patron Brothers Wait. with the block vote of How I Met Your Mother. Wait, let me, let me Two defend votes. myself. Okay. Okay. You like The Office. The yes. Office is slapstick I love comedy. The Office. Okay. How I Met Your Mother, They, if you've ever paid attention to that show, and I have, 
they take their comedy to an entirely different level. When you see a website on when when they mention a website on that show, mm -hmm. they actually do something with that website. They actually buy the domain name, and you can go to that website, and there is something there. Okay. So, you know, they actually do something with it. They, instead of just being a TV show that you watch, you get it's a TV show that, hey, what's that website? Because the one day I was sitting there, and I figured out, I'm going to go check that website. What is that website? It existed. Okay. And now every time they mention a website, they actually do things outside the show to make you laugh. Okay. Well, I, I and, and that's, I think that's innovation in television today because while Chuck wasn't so critically acclaimed because it got moved to the to the night where TV shows go to die Friday night ultimately um, the fan base kept that show around for a while and they too had interactive websites and places where you can vote on things and I think that's um, only increasing the brand of some of these shows yeah, and it's, uh, I, again, for, for everything that you said about uh, The Office, I will say there was something like from the most recent episode where everybody in The Office had lice, and Dwight Schrute comes out there in a hazmat suit, and he's trying to tell them what's going to be necessary to get rid of the lie, or to get, to get rid of the lice, and uh, uh, it, it, everybody, uh, everybody sitting there asks him, uh, you know, what's it going to take to to get rid of this stuff? He goes, I'm not going to lie, and he thrusts up a large canister. Why? <laughs> I, I only I only pick on the office, and it was not to get real off topic, but yeah. I only pick off the pick up the pick on the office is because when they first came out with back when we were on tour, mm -hmm. when they first came out with our our opener, okay, there was a clip from the office. Well, none of the three of us on the show mm -hmm. liked the show The Office, so why is there a clip from this show that none of us like? Jason Jones. So put we all made this you. huge. Yeah. We all made this huge fight about it. And Tony actually clipped it out. We put something else in there. Yeah, Tony Mazur hates the office. To I know defend that. to defend the vote, though, yeah. it was a popular show in Great Britain and then here. Yeah. So you know, it's it's on both sides of the pond. That's the one show that. Yeah. Accomplished. That. And it was it was it was, it was a diff totally different cast and writers. Yeah. That same concept. And by, by the fact that, that one uh, stuck around, you know, they, they necessarily kind of have gone in a, in a different direction. Uh, well, what, what's interesting here on this next one, uh, they got two votes. There's two of these that got two. And, Bob, I, I find this interesting. I could have seen you voting for either one of the ones that got two votes. There's the Sopranos, and then there's also the one that you voted for, Curb Your Enthusiasm. So, interestingly, either of those, to me, could have been a Bob Glassman vote probably the only two things that would have appeared to me. I'm not a big TV watcher, mm -hmm. so um, those two and, and Curb stuck out to me. Those, uh, in a real vote of mine, that was that and the Albert Bell, which mm -hmm. but really did, bo both those stuck out as immediate. Um, I think Larry David is a comic genius. I like the edginess uh, that he's able to take it to with HBO and personal opinion, but I'm, all, I'm always interested to see, because there were 25 balloters in this thing, and I, I just slot these as they come in chronologically here. Uh, it only got two votes, but uh, th there was only one vote in between uh, that separated uh, them. So uh, of, of the two votes, they were uh, of three uh, in a row that were cast. Uh, oh, I, I don't even know if I, I, I might have skipped over this one uh, accidentally here. Uh, Family Guy, I don't think I mentioned that. That got one vote. I didn't consider that one because it actually started in the previous one. Okay. And then uh, I don't know if I mentioned I I, I might have forgot to mention Lost. I don't know if I remember if you I did, mentioned that. that. Was I my did. Vote. Should I oh, that was my yours. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Talk about yours. I'm gonna die. You know, there are a lot of there are a lot of shows out there that I think are amazing. For TV. Um, my favorite show on TV right now is The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. um, you can go on and on. Archer, Deep Throat Archer. Um, I love Justified. I'm so glad it's back now. You know, so there are a lot of great shows. I just discovered a brand new one on BBC America this past fall called Copper. Okay. Uh, it's uh, basically a police show in San Francisco by a person who loves the um, But the reason I went with Lost is because of the difference. Of, it was just the innovation of what they did. Okay. Um, they, they boldly started a program that you basically you had to watch from the start every week. At any, even though you're confused as to have any idea what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. A. Um, and... Um, they're sort of rolling uh, intricate uh, plot and, and character development and, and, and everything just moving along the way they did. I thought it was just different the way they did it. And, and I think it's unique. But wasn't it basically Gilligan's Island? 
construction. Well, I, I mean, it's just a plane instead of a ship. Well, but I, you could say that. I mean, look, I could say that about um, you know the office. Well, isn't that just basically him, or is it just you know, Mary Tyler Moore? Or yeah, I mean, exactly. <laughs> I, so I no, I don't disagree with that. I just I thought the way they did it, um, and the flash forward and the flash back, and and the continuer the continuing of the storyline that really forced you to have to watch every mm-hmm. single week. If you want to watch the, the, the end of season seven, the very end, you have you have to watch every other thing leading up to it, or you really have no idea what's going on. I was just intrigued by how they did it from a process. Um, that, and that's why that I, I that I understand. I understand the fact that okay, you, you, it's a show that you need to watch all the way through. But it sounded like you were saying the concept was an original concept. Which makes sense. Well, the, from, from that standpoint, there are no original concepts. Right. However, right. Gilligan's Island was not the same concept as this. I mean, it begins and ends with people sort of on an island, an uncharted island. Okay, that's the that's the only thing in common. Um, but conceptually, I thought it was very different. That, that's the only reason it got it got my nod. Um, with all the great shows that are actually out there, we are in a bit of a renaissance right now. For the rest of season seven. That was the premise of the category. Thanks to uh, the cable channel. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. Thanks to AMC. Yeah. Those, those shows drive no, me that's nuts. refreshing. Yeah, that's refreshing. And there, are, there are a ton of great shows that are on now. Because again, like I said, I was surprised to see Sonny get nominated, but I love it. I love the league. That didn't get any votes. Charlie Day, who I went to high school with. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I actually voted for Charlie Kelly as my favorite sitcom character of all time when we did this. I, 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 I am such a huge mark for that guy. I, I didn't even know that you had gone to school. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a big. I I'm was a, a senior fan. when he was a freshman. Okay, and I. Uh, Whatever the uh, horrible bosses, like I love that movie. Like any time that guy is doing even a scintilla of his character, sign me up. I will watch it. I love that crap. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, there's some great stuff like that that I wouldn't have nominated because I don't know if it meets the classic definition of great for what we're going for here. Other things, like I said, I love Justified. I wish it had gotten a vote in here. Uh, I love Mad Men. I'm glad to see that that was was in there. And the winner is going to is going to hold up. Yeah. The winner is going to hold up uh, through the eyes of history, no question about it. Your winner with two and a half votes and something that I came very close to, to breaking away from my office homerism and going with, Breaking Bad. This is one that we can look back on however many years down the road and feel just fine about that one. Breaking Bad uh, is fine at the top of this category here as far as I'm concerned. I, I love the show. Uh, again, uh, Jeff Briscoe, uh, our, t- our friend, the talk show host down in Florida, voted for that. He says, Mr. White says Breaking Bad. It's lost its kick the past couple of seasons, trying to do a bit too much as the amazing relationships in seasons one to two played out on their own, but still an amazing show. I actually disagree with him that it's lost a step. I think it's it's modified. It's gone through. I respectfully disagree with, with, with Jeff on that. And I've actually had the pleasure of doing some fun season recaps and season previews on this show with Nate Noy, who I've gotten to be a fellow uh, fanatic on Breaking Bad, and it's so much fun to get so deep inside of a show like that and just start ripping at the guts of it and breaking it down. And that's what you can do. So, Chris, you, you might have fears about how this would have gone, whatever. I mean, look, if uh, with all due respect to How I Met Your Mother or Big Bang Theory or something like that wins, then, yeah, we may have to reconsider. Well, those are both great shows. I mean, I enjoy watching them when they're on, if I catch them when they're on. I mean, I enjoy I enjoy those as much. I've just gotten into Breaking Bad. I just recently watched season one. Okay. Um, and I've got to now uh, quickly plow my way through, through the subsequent seasons. Um, but I, it's, again, another great show. Um, and, you know, I, time will tell. As far as running its course, always going to run its course. Uh, it's, it's just the nature of the beast. And yeah. I, that I don't worry the track right. from, from what it is. Right. Um, still surprised no vote for Walking Dead. Yeah, I need to see that uh, being a zombie an aficionado. I need to see that movie, that that, that, that show. You have not seen any of the great seasons. No. no. Wow, you are missing out. Sadly, no cable. Yeah, that's uh. Yeah, John, Johnny's living the simple life off the grid here. But uh, <laughs> no, that uh, no, that that is. I have I I have the opportunity to watch it and have it either. So I'm probably missing out too, Johnny. So when it comes to me, no disrespect to all of mm-hmm. us. 
experience shows. I'm more of a comedy guy. Okay. You know, when life sucks, you got to sit down and laugh. Because okay. That's all we got. Well, this this segment could have been broken into best comedy, right. so far, and best drama. Well, I wanted to put to, to the test what you were talking about there, this thought that this is the golden age. We're in a new golden age of shows here. And it's interesting because in talking to Nate Noy about this, he's like, well, what about the 80s? What about how do they measure up to St. Elsewhere? I'm kind of a snob about it. it was like, and then he started looking at it. He's like, oh, yeah, Breaking Bad can hang with anything. And I think, by and large, the 90s were dreadful. That, yeah, I think they were. I, I mean, mean, they're we, very forgettable, by and large. We were holding up Friends as some kind of well, redefinition. Listen, of Friends was a was a unique. Sh- it was look. It was in some ways different and very popular and successful. So you can hold it up and say. I mean, there are there are success stories from the nineties. It's uh, so funny, like what doesn't hold up? Because like I love Frasier and I always will. But in watching Cheers, which I was a fanatic about back in the day, it's like if you pop it on now, it's like. Oh, this is the one where everybody says Norm. Oh, this is the one where Diane says something haughty, and they laugh. Oh, this is the one where Carl abuses Cliff. I love this episode. You know, it's like, how did they get you away know, with that for nine years? You know, they you recently, know? and I don't know if you ever or 11 saw, years. PBS did a different characters, mm-hmm. but more of a renewed version of Cheers. It uh-huh. was a lot more fun. It was called Sullivan. That is a great. We we had we had Dan Warrior on the of show. Vince Vaughn. Yeah, that, that show he that, was that, that, yeah. that show was racy to say the least. Yeah, and Cheers at the time was yeah. racy to say the least. Yeah, it was kind of a more modern. Hit. We had Dan Warrior on the show, uh, so I ended up watching like a good chunk of those episodes, and I loved it. I thought it was so great. It's kind of politically incorrect. It is actually. Yeah. And if you notice, one of the guys on there is actually Bill Murray's brother. That's and I think he's the guy. Is he not that plays the guy that's kind of like the racist? Kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which it's interesting because Warrior said on the show he was initially offered that role and he turned it down because his sense was that from being the Wonder Years dad, that he 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 said I don't want people to retroactively think that guy was a racist. So like if I take this role, it's gonna look like yeah that guy was kind of like just a racist jerk all along. We still have the one the, the big funny that we joke around our house and anytime somebody mentions India, dad, Indian, dad always goes down and tells us. <laughs> so you know, we st- the whole that that whole thing just kind of resonates. Yeah, I can imagine. But uh, that's uh, that's the last one now here for today. We raised the Dundee Award. Breaking Bad enters the pantheon uh, for the best TV show of the 21st century. Uh, Twelve categories uh, here today. Uh, Twelve winners. And uh, very, uh, very good to have the inductees. I want to thank everybody for being a part of the proceedings for all of the different segments here today. Uh, <laughs> I, I, will, I will single out one more time as we go around here. Anthony Patron, Matt Patron, shaking hands once again. Bob Glassman, John Adams, and uh, Chris Galloway, my friend, a fellow original FBH Lounge dignitary. Would be I remiss if I did not thank for use of the pro- of what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Would be remiss if I did not thank for use of the premises. Uh, my dad, uh, Richard Morris, uh, for use of the, uh, the house here, as we did. So so much better suited to it than, than my place. Plus, I'd have to clean up, which down here in the suck. Scarlet and Gray cave. Yes. Wonder why the the horseshoe won best. Uh, yes. <laughs> La- last year was the back porch with the deck that was made out like uh, <laughs> like the Ohio Islands. Now down in the uh, uh, cr- Chris must really be suffering. The Scarlet and Gray cave down here. <laughs> uh. He is. He is. But I want to thank everybody again. This is what helps make the show what it is. The seventh edition of the FBH Lounge Pantheon. As we bring the show to a close, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, All Clear Channel Affiliates, TNT, TBS, USA, UPN, Deadspin.com, YouTube.com, YTMND.com, MySpace.com, various blogs, Fox News, CNN, CNBC, MSNBC, IamBoard.com, Billboard.com, Google.com, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPN Classic, NBA TV, NFL Network, Sports Time Ohio, Athlon Magazine, Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, The Boomerang Channel, QVC, BET, The Spice Channel, Steno Notebooks, Manwich, Papermate Office Supplies, Waitresses, Strippers, Bartenders, Garbage Men, Janitors, Microwave Popcorn, The Writers of The Office, the Scrubs, Entourage, My Name is Earl, Oz, Metalocalypse and the Boondocks, Aquafina, and The Periodic Table of Elements. 